Wellsville, New York, how do you do it? It was the mic the whole time. <laughs> it's kind of late, huh? I know we started the, the show a little bit late, but I'm getting older and I'm just getting tired. And before I got here, I was just like, my stomach hurt, I was hungry, I was tired. So on the way here, I'm in the back of the car, and I put my symptoms into Google. And I said, you know, stomach hurts, I feel tired, I feel just bloated all the time. But I ended up having IMDb still up, so I put those symptoms in, and it said I was John Goodman. <laughs> Rookie mistake. So speaking of ghosts, I know John Goodman's not dead, but who, why are we holding on? It's just a matter of time. Who here believes in ghosts? You guys believe in ghosts? Just one person? Like, I don't know if I would ever have a ghost because I have cats in my house. And constantly when I'm sleeping, doors are opening, doors are closing, shit's getting knocked off the kitchen. I would have no idea if there was a ghost in my house. Even if they, like, I was sleeping, and a ghost crept over me while I was sleeping, and he's like, and I'd be like, Tink, just <laughs> And even if a ghost was in my house, and they said, like, like, you heard my jokes earlier, I am very used to booze. <laughs> it would mean nothing to me at all. Man. Like, think of a ghost. Think of a ghost. Close your eyes, think of a ghost. Don't be scared, that was just me, not a ghost. You're thinking of like the bed sheet ghost, right? Like the bed sheet ghost. Why do we think of the bed sheet ghost? It's like our default ghost that we think of. That is not a scary ghost at all. Like what would be scary to me is my dead grandparents, like my grandfather running around singing show tunes, and my grandmother going, Georgie, Sandy Davis Jr. looks purple on the TV. You need to fix it. <laughs> That would be scary to me. Oh my god. And like, if you get a sheet, like if you die and you become a ghost for whatever weird reason they make you ghosts, and they give you a sheet, that would work for me, I think. Like it would just cover everything, because no one's scared of a fat ghost. If you're trying to get someone out of the house, and they saw someone like me coming up on you, they would just walk upstairs. <laughs> and be like, he's, 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 it's not worth the trouble. I'm just gonna, mm, next time, <laughs> next time. And why are ghosts so mad at us? Like we just automatically assume that ghosts want us out of our house. Why are they, they've got all kinds of things to be happy about. Think of all the money they don't have to spend on shoes. <laughs> they finally get to talk to Chris Farley and find out how David Spade really was behind the set. <laughs> Something we all want to know. Like your ghost jealous of us being alive? Have you tried being alive recently? It is fucking terrible. <laughs> Like, you can't even pet a dog without getting in a conversation with the person that owns the dog. Have you seen, you, you see a cool dog walking down the sidewalk, and you see the person and you do the math? You know, like, if, how cool of a dog it is to how shitty of a person it is? And then if you want to pet the dog, you come down and you're like, oh, buddy, oh, what's your name? And she's like, it's named Snickers. And you're like, I didn't fucking ask you. <laughs> What's your name, buddy? <sighs> Are ghosts mad at us? Like, do they want revenge? Because the only way they can speak to us is through Ouija boards. 
Like, if you're a ghost and you wanted to taunt someone and your last resort was a Ouija board, you gotta be fucking pissed off. Like, I tried knocking shit off your counter, I tried opening and closing the doors, but you ignored me, and now it's a Ouija board. It's like texting on an old Nokia in the 90s. It's like, am I speaking to someone and it's like, yeah, why? Yes. God damn. Why would we ever trust that? They are mad at that point. <laughs>